Hey everybody, it's Katie. Um, Happy New Year. I guess I'll start there. I hope everybody is off to a healthy, positive start to their new year. And those who celebrated holidays in December, um, you know, had had a good time. We went to Cleveland and we spent Christmas with my whole family. My sister also traveled traveled back there. Um, we had a great time. No snow, which Alice was really disappointed about, but overall it was just wonderful. I just wanted to make a video today. Um, it will probably turn out to be fairly rambly. Uh, I just want to kind of let you know where I'm at right now. I feel like I'm at a little bit of a crossroads with my channel. I'm fighting a sore throat too, so if my voice is a little off, um, sorry. <laughs> so I've been away from YouTube for I think around three weeks, close to a month now. Uh, I did post a couple of Christmas videos that I had like scheduled out after we actually think already left town, um, but I haven't made a video in around a month, which is, I think is my longest break in four and a half years. And I'm feeling like I just don't want to come back to making videos um, right now. I don't know if this will be a temporary thing or what, but I just want to talk about it. It's something I have felt at various times. I've felt like, um, you know, I've taken like little breaks before and I've felt like I needed sort of mental breaks, um, but I've always felt like really strongly that I wanted to come back. Um, and in those moments, you know, I, whatever, I've never made a video about it, I've never talked about it. And I know that people leave YouTube all the time, and sometimes they leave very abruptly, or sometimes they just disappear and you never hear anything again. I sort of always wonder, did something happen, you know, or, or did they just not have sort of space in their lives anymore, or sort of, you know, what was their, what was their process? I'm not making this video as some sort of ploy to get people to watch it or to like fish for compliments and try to get comments saying like, oh, please don't leave, something like that. I don't play games like that, guys. I, I overanalyze things, but I really don't intentionally over-dramatize them. That's just not how I work. Um, I'm just trying to be honest about my thought process at this point. And, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, I guess, where, where that takes us. Um, yeah, I've always struggled with, you know, how long will I make YouTube videos? A lot of people, a lot of YouTube moms kind of joke around that they'll be like YouTube grandmas, you know, 50 years down the road still making videos, but I've never really felt like that would be true for me. I just don't know. Um, I just always expected that there would be like a, you know, some major life change for us or just that it wouldn't feel relevant to me anymore at some point. So I don't know if this is that point. I'm just trying to flesh it all out and I just, like I said, just am trying to kind of bring you into to the point I'm at right now. So when I took that, um, when I took like a holiday break, it was very purposeful and I planned for it to be around two weeks or so. But as time has gone on, it just, every day that goes by, I get a little bit, I feel a little bit further from YouTube and I feel less motivated to kind of get back into the swing of all the things I have to do to actually post videos. Naturally, like the time slot that I would use for video stuff just fills itself with other things and like I can't lie It's been wonderful. I've been I've been having time at night to work on hobbies again I've been having more time to exercise I've been having to just like time to like lay on the couch and drink tea and do nothing which never ever happens um, The last time like I took a bath for fun was you know when I was pregnant with August like 15 months ago or something like that and uh you know, it's good. It's good to have that, that kind of space back in my life again. When I am in the habit of posting, you know, a video or two a week, it's really something that like weighs on me and I feel a lot of pressure to um, do all the, jump through all the hoops I need to, to, to be able to post a video. Everybody has demands on their time. I know it's hard for everybody. Um, I feel like for me, there are a couple like, there, I have some technical, technical problems that make things a little bit more complicated. And also I have um, some personal sort of just my principles. I don't make videos when my kids are awake, when my kids are around, unless it's like specifically like an update just about them or something or, you know, a video that really includes them. I just don't feel like um, it just doesn't work well for my family and it's not something I feel good about. So I only make videos when the kids are with Mike, when the kids are napping or when the kids are asleep. So I have like lighting issues. I have, you know, limited time for those reasons. I'm also really having a problem right now. Technically, we have one computer and uh, we have one, it's a small laptop that both Mike and I have to use for all of our stuff, for very, you know, both of our jobs. And Mike is conducting, Mike has been for like about a year now on a very serious job search that he works on almost every night. So, you know, there's, there's a really small amount of time that I'm even able to get on the computer to upload video. You know, and this is of course after I have like, 
you know, thought about a video, made notes, found the right nap time and stuff to actually sit down and film, and then I have to like get computer, I have to work, you know, without like kicking Mike off when he needs it. I need to find computer time that I can upload from my camera and then edit and then upload to YouTube and, you know, just, just, it's, it's just a lot. To me, it, it just feels a lot, like a lot of noise. Um, additionally, because we, like I said, we've only had this one lap laptop, I think it is six years, six or seven years old now, and it's, it has no space. It has three gigs left, period. Um, and there's not a whole lot we can really do with that because it's just, we just, we're going to need... We're gonna need a new computer, we're gonna need a second computer, we're gonna need to upgrade, whatever. Okay, so that's that's a technical issue. Right now when I make a video, um, it just, it literally like, I don't have the space on my computer to even um, mess with it and, and get, the mo get the movie out of iMovie and in into YouTube and stuff. So we'll see how long it takes me to figure that out to be able to post this one. So one solution is I could stay up late, you know, I could sacrifice sleep to work on videos and sometimes I do do that. Um, the problem is that I feel like just me personally, I really have a hard time functioning well and sort of being at my best and I don't feel like it's fair to sacrifice that. I don't feel like it's, um, that it's fair for me to like not be at my best for the people that matter the most, like my kids, my husband, you know, the people in my immediate life here. So I think all those little like challenges and limitations and stuff kind of add it all together, make me feel like I don't want to dive into all that again because it is just a lot of stress. It's a lot of... It's just something I have to think about a lot and, and make sure um, that I'm kind of like capitalizing on every moment that I have and putting it towards YouTube. Not every moment, but pretty close, you know? Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's not worth it. I think I'm, I'm just at a point of trying to like, just trying to flesh it all out. I'm hoping that maybe the, just the process of making this video and getting back in the habit of that um, will kind of break me out and, and get me a little bit more on a roll. I have plenty of video ideas. I have a list of 30 some ideas that, you know, things that I would really like to make videos on. Um, I really appreciate the relationship, relationships I've built through YouTube, of course. So maybe making this will inspire me again and get me back in the habit and I'll feel really good about it. I'm just gonna follow my heart, whatever that is. I'm gonna make the right decision for myself and my family. Um, I definitely would miss YouTube, I think, uh, on some level, but that doesn't mean that it's not the right choice, you know? So, um, I guess I, I should have said in the beginning too, you know, everything is okay with us. It's not like something happened and that's why I've been gone. Everything is okay, thankfully, at least um, for things that I feel like are mine to talk about on YouTube. Um, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a life update sometime in the future if, if that feels right. But that's it. Hope you all are doing well and um, take care.